Hey guys, I already showed you the reactions of boron magnesium with carbon tetrachloride, chloroform and dichloromethane, so in this video I decided to find out what happens if we replace chlorine with iodine in these reagents. For this experiment I used methyl iodide, methylene iodide, ethyl iodide, allyl iodide and iodoform. For the first reaction I used methyl iodide, which is a colorless liquid with a density of 2.3 grams per milliliter. Methyl iodide is hardly combustible due to iodine vapors that kill the flame instantly. However, methyl iodide burns well when mixed with liquid oxygen. Burning magnesium actively decomposes chloroalkanes. I already dropped burning magnesium in methylene chloride, chloroform and carbon tetrachloride once. Now it's time to try out the same thing with iodine containing hydrocarbons. Methyl iodide is the first one to go. Methyl iodide is a quite volatile liquid. Judging by the formation of purple vapors of iodine, moments before the contact between the liquid and burning magnesium occurs. This dark liquid, that ideally must be slightly yellow, is methylene iodide. It is the heaviest organic liquid with a density of more than 3.3 grams per milliliter. Under ordinary condition, setting it on fire is impossible. This liquid is 95% iodine. However, mixing it with liquid oxygen causes combustion with profuse emission of iodine.
Methylene iodide is less volatile than methyl iodide. We don't see any purple vapors of iodine before this liquid comes in contact with burning magnesium. The homolog of methyl iodide is ethyl iodide, but is also a hardly combustible liquid. Let's see what happens if we draw burning magnesium in ethyl iodide. In comparison to the previous reactions, this one has practically no significant emission of iodine. But what happens with allyl iodide that contains even less iodine than three previous reagents? Unlike previous non-combustible iodalkenes, allyl iodide can be used to start a fire in the lab if you try hard enough. I wonder how much iodine it will emit if I drop it in burning magnesium. Allyl iodide is quite volatile, and we can see the emission of iodine vapors before burning metal comes in contact with a liquid. However, the amount of soot emitted is bigger than that of iodine. Alright, but what about iodoform that contains more iodine than all the reagents mentioned before? Iodoform is a yellow powder that melts at 120 degrees Celsius. The front liquid has a density of more than 4 grams per milliliter. Yeah, that was really a lot of iodine that emitted in this reaction. It would be interesting to see a reaction with tetraiodomethane as well, but unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on it. However, I do have some tetrabromomethane, so I'm going to show you a reaction with that instead. These white crystals of tetrabromomethane melt at about 100 degrees Celsius, turning into brown-orange liquid. Well, let's drop burning magnesium in it. Besides a cloud of bromine, we got a lot of soot. Thanks for watching guys and a big thanks to my patrons. Your support has turned our dreams into a reality. See you in the next video.